um, <clears throat> this video is a Draw My Life inspired RE revision. Um, it's OCLB, Christianity and Ethics, um, GCC Half Course RE. Um, so this um, video is part of the Medical Ethics section which has abortion in it and euthanasia and um, suicide. Uh, it talks about embryology and IVF and stuff and animal testing. So this video is going to be about animal testing. Sorry about the zoom, it'll get into focus eventually. Um, <laughs> yeah. The Sanctity of Life, um, which is in the euthanasia and suicide video, um, teaches that all life is um, a gift from God. Um, however, um, humans make use of animals um, in, many, in many ways. Some of them have been questioned ethically. So there are obviously two sides of the argument and Christians generally have their own like personal view on this but there's basically for or against animal testing. For animal testing is often called dominion and against animal testing is um, called stewardship. So dominion suggests power and authority um, over to, um, and to make decisions on the fate or welfare of the um, the thing that you have dominion over basically so to be in charge of it but not necessarily in a nice way nice way <clears throat> stewardship is to look after something making decisions based on the best interests of the thing that you're looking after so it's kind of suggesting a more compassionate role dominion is based on genesis it's not 215 it's there we go 128 um, and stewardship is based on 215 um, Genesis 128 says, rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living th creature that is crawls on the ground. Um, Genesis 2.15 says, the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. So um, in the next bit, I'm just going to list a load of reasons why people might um, go for one of these sides, it's quite a lot of writing, sorry. <laughs> but Dominion, um, it's like for animal testing, um, God has given humans the authority to run the planet um, as they see fit, so this includes animals to save human lives if we want to. Um, testing proce procedures on and products on animals has had a positive effect overall. And one of these is the medical advances in the treatment of cancer, cardiac complaints, infectious diseases and lots of other things. It's hard to ignore the benefits that we've received from testing on animals really. Um, so some examples of this is um, the armadillo they've used to vaccine against leprosy and the jellyfish possibly there could be a way to treat cancer through testing them. Um, humans like a made in God's image, it says so in the Bible, but animals it doesn't say anything about them. So stewardship would be well. Not everyone agrees with the morality of animal testing. So is a human life any more valuable than an animal's? And both were created by God, so God clearly cares about both. Um, and it's painful and destructive on the animals. And cosmetics can be tested on people. Some brands do test on people rather than animals. Um, and animal testing, some people believe it's an out-of-date um, way of testing things um, with the advances in science now and would you like to be treated like this, basically. And also in Luke chapter 8, um, the healing of the demon-possessed man, Jesus um, casts out um, the demons that have been in a man who has been possessed um, and he casts them into a herd of pigs that immediately they run into a river and are drowned. So that could be used. Um, Catholics in Church of England have pretty similar views on this. Um, just that animal testing is okay, but no unnecessary suffering really. Um, that it should take place. Um, however, quite, um, oh sorry, Catholics are they are a bit harsher than the Church of England really because they believe that animals don't have souls. But Quakers are against violence, so no experiments, basically. There we go. Animals don't have souls, according to Catholics.
Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Sorry, the focus is gone again. Um, okay, I don't think it's coming back. But basically, my next video is going to be on um, like IVF, fertility treatment, embryology.